way to do it, which we talked about a little bit during SSR, is moving the eight over. So if you prefer to approach it like a rewriting the expression problem, we would have x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. Again, we complete the square. So x plus 1 squared, and then we find the difference between negative 8 and our new value, which is 1. So the difference between negative 8 and 1 is 9. So we're going to say minus 9 equals 0. But now I need to move the 9 over. This is the part we talked about where it doesn't matter whether or not you move the constant, because at the end, you're going to have the same answer. So here you can see the steps match up where I move the 9 back over and I mark the x squared equals 9. Then I do the same process. So see how this matches up with this? So we get to the same point. It's preference when you want to move the constant when you want to leave it. Okay? Um, are we good with that? Give me a nod or like a thumbs up or something. Mm -hmm. Just look at me. Like, Dylan, you have a question? Oh, thumbs up. Okay, fabulous. All right. I'm just going to kind of share my thoughts on letter B. I'm looking at letter B and I'm seeing that A is equal to 7, which might be okay if every if B and C are multiples of 7, so I can work with nice whole numbers. But I'm looking and I'm seeing that, well, 7 does not go evenly into 12 or 4, so I'm going to have some gnarly fractions. I don't really like fractions, so I will come back to B a little bit later in today's lesson because B is the kind of problem that I would look at and say, I don't want to factor or complete the square. I think this is a good problem for the quadratic formula. So let's talk about the quadratic formula, okay? Um, before we get into that, solve ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So what we're gonna do with the majority of class time today is work through solving this general equation for the standard form of a quadratic equation. Okay? Because that's kind of intimidating, right? Like, I don't know how to do that. Where would I even start? But by walking through the steps to solve this, we end up with the quadratic formula. So take out your deriving the quadratic formula proof strips. Take out that piece of paper and take out your math journals. Because we're going to cut apart these strips and put them in order of how we would go about solving that general equation. And at the end, we're going to end up with the quadratic formula. So you're going to see how we get to it, and then you're going to start using it. And I think by understanding how we get to it, it should help you memorize it. Yes. And then I would staple that into your whole thing together.